what's going on Sunstar Squad. We're out here at Benton County, at the Benton County Fairgrounds. Uh, we just got in, starting to get everything unloaded, settled in, making some dinner for the boys while they run around like a bunch of hoodlums. Uh, they're super excited because some of their friends showed up. Race friends, you know, if you've been around the sport a little bit, then you definitely know, you can see them. There's Oliver. There's one of my little guys up there playing with Henry. I don't know where the other one is. He's running around. Oliver's probably the one chasing him. So good old family fun out here in Benton County. I'm gonna go ahead and try to, I guess, vlog this as best as I can. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, not that that's ever stopped me before, but we're gonna go ahead, make some dinner. Sounds like there's a little guy trying to get in. Let's go scare him real quick. Watch. What are you doing? 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 It's a camera. Why? What do you mean, why? I don't have a freeze pop. That's bloody. I don't know if the freeze pops are frozen yet, bud. It's frozen. No. Hey, we're getting ready to put dinner in there. See? See? They're not frozen yet. By tomorrow they'll be frozen, okay? Go play. That's sweaty. Well, get you water. You want water? Yes. Okay. Here, go play. Not yet. Go play. Good morning, guys. Got a little bit of a late start. Part of the beauty of camping with two toddlers as some of you might know some of you don't i have twin boys that are three years old there's one of them woke me up at 6 30 this morning because he thought he heard a dirt bike so the race has finally started here eight o'clock you can see there Little guys are ripping. Got a decent little hillside moto track here. And then, of course, the rest of the fairgrounds track goes way back in the woods. We'll venture back there a little later. But see how these guys are running. Right now, the leader has a pretty good gap on these two battling back and forth. Say hi. Hello. Yeah? Are you ready for the races? Are you excited? But lots of campers here last night. It's probably the most campers I've seen at a local, which is kind of nice. The kids love camping. So, they had plenty of friends. The game should be should be about done eating his waffles. Who doesn't eat waffles for breakfast? Oh, that little fella's sending it. Crew, you ready? You excited to be back? It is probably pretty fun on a dirt bike. They fixed some of the junks from last year too, so should be should be a little better. You think? Be careful! There's another one on the other side. Yeah, it's like a. It's like a double spur tabletop type deal going on. I don't know what. There's another one. That big one up there is the same way. That's a 
That's like your old bike, huh, bud? You wanna go up there by crew? Okay, come here. Oh, this kid's gonna send it. Watch. That kid was moving. I think like almost all motocross tracks and just like that area of wood and motocross tracks. <laughs> I was wondering how they were going to set the kids track up this year. That kid, the Luigi's came through, just cleared that really over there. And then we were over there, I was like, whoa. Oh, yeah. Look at the gap. Look at the gap. Look at the gap. Yeah, he's going pretty fast. Mm -hmm. Oh no! It fell off. Holy crap! So this is our test. This just ha had like five. Oh no, this is second place. Yeah, that's second right there. Morning, buddy. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, it got pretty dewy last night. That's our the intermediate quads out now uh, still at Vinton County they were supposed to have a double header this weekend tomorrow's race got canceled so it's a double points race so pretty decent turnout there was a lot of campers last night I'm guessing a lot of people were pretty ready for the uh, the double header this weekend I know I certainly was we got uh, intermediate quads out there ripping right now. Some of these kids are, are absolutely insane, both in, in skill and speed. Uh, I think the top three overall has already come through. So we're working through the field right now. Uh, they're having fun on the little moto section though. So let's get some race footage, yeah? Nice little battle going on there. The uh, McGraw kid, I'm not sure who's in front of him. How oh, did he get it? Pinched him off, got him. You see a pretty decent turnout, especially spectator wise. Got old Crew Carter's machine he raced earlier today. Got uh, Dave Rubin, the old track marshal. Been chasing kids all day. Taking a break, I don't blame him. Boys getting it.
Austin, are you gonna race? Yeah? Do a wheelie. See what Henry Rubin's going on. He uh first in his class earlier today. Let's go talk to him real quick. Oh toddler sneeze on my leg. Oh Brandon on the phone. What's up, buddy? Uh, they're ripping. They are. Those kids go fast, man. <laughs> Do an interview for the old Sunstar vlog. <laughs> pretty easy. I'll edit out like a lot of the small talk, but I'm just going to ask you questions. Don't worry about that. <laughs> uh, so how was the track? It was slick. Slick? Yeah, there was a lot of dew this morning. We definitely hit the dew point way it, it early. Dried, it dried up later in the race. Yeah, they're starting to kick up some dust now, especially in the corner, so you can kind of yeah. see it hanging out. It's going to be dusty for us in the afternoon. Yeah, it's going to Where'd you finish? First. In class? What about overall? Uh, well, you race against all the super minis on a stock 85 anyway, so. Yeah. Some of those super mini kids are quick. They are. What was your favorite part of the track? Uh, probably the motocross section coming out of the woods. You like the motocross section? Yeah. It does look like kind of fun. It was. Any crazy jumps on there? There's the one double. There's that one right there where it's, it looks like you can completely send it. Yeah, flatland. And then I think there's what the double that's like right, right up here, up there by where all those people are. There's a double right there that it looks like it should be a tabletop. Yeah, but the landing ramp is like perfect distance away to totally eat it. Yeah, it's. I didn't get that one. I got it a few times. So I don't know. We'll have to really, at least on the adult quads, we'll have to clear that table with authority to have enough run in to be able to hit that double pretty good. I don't know how you're gonna clear that tabletop, but it'll be hard. I don't know either. Because the turn going into the tabletop is messed up. So the we'll see. The way to do it is go outside on the turn and go real fast through. Yeah, it'll get cut in, I'm guessing. A lot of these kids will probably cut it in. Yeah. But. How's the season going so far? You're running this and OXCR and some Buckeye Series races and yeah. basically anything that you can go burn fuel at, huh? Yeah, it was pretty good. Good? You did your first Buckeye race up at Greer's, wasn't it? Yeah. Greer's. How was that? It was good. My first motocross race it didn't do that good. Looked fine to me. Yeah, it was, <laughs> it was fun. What? How do you like that one? How do you like moto? Uh, it's fun. I think I like it more. Yeah. Well, you have to try it at least once to at least know for sure. Yeah. That and a lot of the Enduros like these, they'll race them. It's kind of a like a hybrid like GP thing where you're racing both on a moto track as well as in the woods. So, yeah, I like those more other than just in the woods. Yeah. Like they do at, uh, yeah, just that's... The woods. I can't remember. You guys made it out to East Fork for the OXCR, didn't you? That, yeah. That? that was, there was a Buckeye there last week. Yeah, yeah, that that's was, that was fun. New track, the track's really fun. Yeah, that's the whole new layout. It, they were, we were actually kind of dipping and dodging, like excavating equipment during our race in the adult adult quads, because they were trying to get a jump on, getting back to it to get ready for that Buckeye race. But the new layout is awesome. It's, it's definitely better than the last one. Oh yeah. You gonna go up there and try to nail some motos too? Yeah, I hope so. Yeah. And then Scott got hurt. I think he got hurt yes. the last Buckeye. Yeah, he lost two of his fingers. It, That's crazy. Of, it was a few days before they were practicing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was something crazy. I remember hearing the story. So this is a double points weekend. We talked about it a little bit before. 
you came in first in class you either closed a really big gap or moved into the top three we're not sure yet you pretty excited about that first seat first full season you should be able to get a top three if you get all the races in how's the old kawasaki running that's like half your field is Kawasaki 85s. Yeah, yeah so. pretty much. <laughs> yeah. It's good. Yeah, the XCCR has some has some pretty awesome tracks. I like a lot of their tracks. The OXCR, we've ran the same ones for a long time. And I like them just because they're familiar. Like, you don't have to go out there. Oh, yeah. Those kids are getting it back there. Just bah, 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 bah. That's the tough section that I'm going through too. Super tough rocky. section. Oh, it's, it's like, like rocky and ruddy and super bumpy, lots of roots. Like, oh yeah, it's right, probably right, right on the cliff. Not nearly as fun. Right, oh, it's probably not nearly as fun on a uh, dirt bike as it is on a quad going through yeah, there. Yeah, it's definitely better on a quad. <laughs> yeah. That's okay. the only real hard part. Everything else is super smooth. Oh yeah. I'll tell you, on the downhill he was talking about, goes slow on the last part. It's on the last part? Is it snotty? No, it's just super fast and a hard right turn right at the uh, end. I'll probably hit a tree at the bottom of it. I'm I pretty notorious for that. You did almost hit a tree. That's what your dad was saying. You swapped yeah. out, like, within inches of hitting a tree with your head. Yeah, I, I got back up. Yeah, obviously you finished first in class. Yeah. But those close calls are always crazy. But it's uh, slow down a little bit after that or just keep hammering through? I kind of kept hammering because like, the guy who's behind me, he caught up right, right when I was getting out of the woods to the uh, So that was a tough battle. It's a weird so, sensation when you're like, I know he's right behind me. I know he's right behind me. I was just trying my best not to mess up. <laughs> yeah. That's usually when you mess up though. <laughs> the hard part was going through the woods because I was usually like manually and over in two. But my wheel down and the first time I did that third lap, I went over the first. I was just trying not to do that again. Oh, uh, where you carried a little bit too much speed? Yeah, those those little rollers and and really close to that turn, and that's a high bank like fast turn too. That's fun. Hell yeah, man. That's really all I got. You want to thank anybody or say anything? Any shout outs? You got a girlfriend at school that probably won't see this, but you can show it to her? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> but that's... Oh, I did have one more question. What's it like having your dad out there, track marshal, following you around? It's got to be a little weird, huh? Yeah, it's weird. But you can't hide out in the woods anymore. Yeah. <laughs> He's right there with you. But... Oh, I believe it. Looks like we're getting ready to go out again. Yeah. All right. Let's go catch up with Brandon. It's old Henry the Rocket Rubin. 85s. And Brandon hiding out. Taking a breather. Oh, yeah. What's going on, guys? Uh, I guess welcome to the end of our, our first vlog. It didn't go exactly as planned. We had some corrupted data. Uh, my GoPro got really hot right after I walked over to Brandon's trailer. I lost all the footage after that. So we'll be getting back in touch with Brandon. We'll get an interview with him. We'll get an interview with Crew, his son. Uh, I'll get some more cool videos of what everybody's riding. I ended up walking around the pits and getting cool videos of what everybody's riding, uh, at least here locally in Ohio. I also lost the uh, adult bike stuff where they were hitting some of the, uh, the bigger jumps on the moto track. I got all the starts for them. I don't get very much for the adult quads because I'm typically on the track during those. I will see if I can get a GoPro mounted on my quad, maybe get some track preview stuff done, at least for the adult side. Um, stick with us. We're still learning. I'm not great at this. I will get better. We'll also be having some footage from Sean as well as Yasu that'll be coming in um, as they go out and start doing some fun stuff also. Other than that, 
thanks for watching. We look forward to uh, catching you at the next one. Next weekend we'll be at the Ohio Cross Country Racing Series. And then I'll also try to get some background footage when I go on the split line off-road show on September 7th to preview Mountaineer, Baroque, all that fun stuff. Uh, a nice little trip over to West Virginia to break up my work week, I guess. As always, thank you. Sorry about the corrupted footage. We are working on all this. Uh, I will also work on getting some better audio equipment. Other than that, peace guys. Thanks.